these things. Give us a bit of room. Nice. If they can't get up so my uh, <laughs> archers are taking care of them. This. A little military might, I'll not say no to that. Oh, swords. Ow. Picking up my archers. There we are. Is this one I can rebuild? Yes. Ooh, Bruce. You make a nuisance yourselves all you like, you're getting that stone. This isn't your stone to give. Give it back. Give it back. Wait. Oh dear. They're coming quicker. I'll leave this in your <laughs> hand to lose. This gets reinforced. Malachi's first because these guys have lances. Nice. Think you're getting this? The stone of all lil. Let's have it. Uh, we need a ticket. Come on. Where's she? She's further on down here. Uh, let's get these guys. <gasps> these guys are just regular. So they're easily taken down. Let's take these out. There's no harm in doing damage to them. It'll cost me nothing to rebuild them. Come on, Evan. I'll leave this in your oh, hands. Yeah. That was easy enough. Well, let's get that cannon first. Get it, guys. Move, move, these soldiers. Mm. We'll take over the cannon. We build it for ourselves. Yes, we've already established that. It's possible. Leave this in your hands. All right. Good oh, luck. that does actually refresh military might over time. Nice. Okay. Should I do these people? Uh, oh God! Oh God! Because that had a fair amount of damage to my people. Alright. Special tactics. Defense up. No, no fair. You can't make this favourite stone off me. I love that flaming thing. I'm sorry, but what comes around goes around. Uh, teach you that crime doesn't pay. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. Yay! Sweet. My guys are all now level eight. So yeah, that was so much easier with four units. Starlight stone. <laughs> we got the stone back. Let's go to Headball and give that library card. Let's go to the library. Your victory reward with sturdy bow. Then we get attacked. Getting ambushed. Don't like getting ambushed. Pain in the arse. There we are. 
these guys are actually a little bit tough. Come on, you. Hold still. Did he vanish or did I actually kill him? <clears throat> I think he just escaped. He didn't drop it. Alright. Could head straight back to Golden Paul, or we could explore a little bit around the corner. I want to explore a little bit around the corner. So then we can teleport back to Golden Paul, right and quick. If we don't find anything interesting. Some wyverns. And the sky is changing. So is there any chests in these trees? There's a cave down there, but I can't get that until I can go in water or something. Oh, there's a chest. Sure, why not? Let's check it out. Go away, Wyvern. Don't want to fight you. And then go behind you and ignore and avoid you. Put some sword away. Mm. Wasn't worth it. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. We're probably gonna have to come back here later. No! Oh, I almost got away. Watch your backs. Mm. Alright. Yeah, let's do that then. Let's go, Golden Paul. Back to the Camel Mile then. <clears throat> mm hmm. Oh, there's a new one. Uh, is it you? <laughs> Come now, Cutface. Why the long chops? Can it really be all that bad? Is everything all right? K King Evan, oh why, this is very embarrassing. You see, I was escorting, es escorting? escorting a merchant through the mountains when we were attacked by bandits, and, well, they stole everything, even my sword. But, as a sorry tale with no mistake, seems you found yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time, lad. Uh, maybe so, but don't excuse my cowardly behaviour. My boss hired me to protect him, and now I don't even know where he is. He disappeared after they attacked us. Um... Please, Your Majesty. Uh, you'll help a fellow Gremlin King, won't you? Will you find the stolen cargo for me? And my boss? <clears throat> How fast, you mongrel? What kind of souls are you? Asking others to clean up your mess. Look, I know it's pathetic, but what can I do without a sword? Please, I'm really worried about him. Mm. I'm starting to worry about him, too. All right, we'll go and look for the man who hired you and his cargo. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. We were passing through Cloud Coil Canyon when we were attacked. Maybe if you head over there, you can find some clues about where the bandits went. <laughs> You're far too soft, Evan lad. Trying to help everyone you meet will be the death of you, mark my words. Still, you promise no. We best head to the canyon and start asking some questions. It'll be easy enough. I know most of the travel points around there. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? First, let's go back to the creepy lady. Well, did you bring me my sturdy woobly woo? Yes, please stop talking like that. <laughs> you gave the stone over. Mm. You got it back. You got it back. Beautiful, wonderful boy. Mm, yes. Bright, so bright, so shiny, shiny, shiny. <laughs> you sound like a serial killer, Chibus. Blinding, so bright it hurts, like a shiny, shiny star. <laughs> yeah, you did it, yes. I thought you'd make a terrible mess of everything. Thought you'd be slaughtered, but you did it, yes. 
a deep red rose, a hot hot horn, and a shiny, shiny, shiny stone. I'll have them all at last. It is time, my loves. It is time. Mm, time at long last. Long last. Time to make up the most marvelous makeup I have ever made. Oh, God. Ingredients for makeup. She sent us on a dangerous, life-threatening quest three times over for makeup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Time to make the most marvelous makeup that's ever been made up. The luscious, vivacious, luxurious lipstick body likes to call gobsmear. Lipstick? What the flip? Yeah, I agree with Lofty right now. I got a flipping minute. You put us all that for a new shade of flipping lippy. Look, yes. I need it. You'll never know when a handsome young man might come along. Yes, I'll just pop it on. Right here, my dears. In before climb makeup. Bloody hell. Not much of a difference. Mm. Back now, darling. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> oh God, look at Evan's face. <laughs> Yoo -hoo. Beautiful, yes. Pretty, pretty. Uh. Uh. Mm. Yes. Uh. It's very pretty. <laughs> I have it at last, my lovely, lovely lipstick. I'm pretty again, beautiful, ravishing, yes! All thanks to you. And Bodley is a woman of her word, yes. You shall have your library card, my dears. Lovely little library card filled with all of Bodley's love. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not sure if it was worth it anymore. You are free to browse, my boogie boogie is lucky, lucky you. All the knowledge in the world sleeps on these shelves. Yes, all of it. And now it is all yours to wallow in, to be, to bathe in, to slather all over your little minds. <laughs> I don't know if it was worth it. Let's split up and take a look around. We will need to find information that'll help us with our kingdom. I'm going to hunt down some books about the nations of your world and their histories. All right. Let us know if you find anything interesting, won't you? Oh, boy. Oh! And now I am Roland. New post in Leafbook. Oh, God. At long last, I've completed it. Behold! <laughs> the luscious, lavacious, luxurious lipstick Bodley likes to call her gobsmear. If anyone would like to see it out action, take Bodley out for a romantic, candlelit, dinsy, winsy winner. You know where to find her. Gosh, I've never seen anything quite like it. Only the best for Bodley. It really suits you. I don't know quite what to say. That's some next level makeup right there. Come on. Are there no suitors for Bodley? <laughs> I still gotta get over that. Alright. Okay. So there's Lofty and Evan just staring at... What are these? These, like, tablets? Weird. Alright. Let's talk to you. Here yeah. you. The library's a perfect place to, uh, to while away an idle moment or two. Well, they've read most... Almost every work it contains, perhaps it'll contribute to something of my own. Now that the future has celebrated a woman working at Disney. Oh wait, that's the woman who gave us the dream door thing. Millennia. Uh, you've dream friends to collect, nine of them to be precise. And so that's where she is, okay. A broad leaf, a broad leaf, a guide. Would you like to read it? Yes. Kingdom of the Cotton Edge, located at the center of Ottomania, Broadleaf is one of the world's newest nations. Once it was just a tiny settlement hidden amid dense forest, zip vectors, inventions, and business savvy have turned it into the world's most technically advanced kingdom. Uh, Bastion, its kingmaker, is said to be more concerned with self-improvement than protecting his realm. 
all of Broadley's institutions are situated in the giant tower known as the Treehouse, which is the headquarters of the Broadleaf Inc. It's a private corporation kingdom? Alright. Uh, the kingdom was founded on a rich seam of magical ore, and the intensive mining and exploitation of that exploit and its explosive development, which has caused the local environment to become terribly polluted. Practical technology for all several conflicts have been taking place between the people of Broadleaf and the local monsters over control of the region's resources, and the tensions remain high to this day. Many bandits and monsters attacked the treehouse during its construction, but they proved no match for Broadleaf's advanced weaponry. These battles were on an excellent showcase of the company's wares. Okay. Oh, there's one in here too. Didn't even see that still. Where is it? There it is. <clears throat> a Ding Dong Dell, a guide. Yes. A kingdom steeped in history and tradition. Ding Dong Dell is a kingdom situated in the northern part of the Summerlands. Grimalkin, Mousekind, and humans have coexisted there for centuries. And it is the longest history of any of the world's nations, thanks to no small part of the unwavering protection of its kingmaker, the noble Oakenheart. The cats and mice of Ding Dong Dell have a long history of animosity. Indeed, including the one account, there was once a war between them that lasted several centuries. Some even claim that the Mousingers, a famous mouse clan, were driven into the sewers while their Grimmican oppressors lived uh, peaceful lives above ground. The local humans tried to avoid becoming involved in this conflict and gave politics a wide berth. Uh, recent turmoil, the Tildrums have ruled over Ding Dong Dell for generations until the premature death of King Leonhard and put his young son Evan on the throne. The mice saw an opportunity and staged a coup and drove the boy king out of the country. Tensions in the kingdom have run high ever since. Grimmelkin are not allowed to leave and only those who have only those who've been granted special permission may now visit. Oh dear. That's a recently updated book then. I have a feeling we're building up to going back and liberating the place. Angoria a guide. Allegora. The long lost magical kingdom, Allegoria, was a large kingdom that once stood in the continent of Nazica. Nazica? Its kingmaker was known as the Horned One, and was possessed of great power and great volatility. Uh, Doloran, Algoria's last king, was unable to control his fearsome creature, and his kingdom and the land in which it stood were lost. It was said to be a beautiful, peaceful place, but no trace of it remains. Alright. Back away slowly. The book entitled... Hydropolis, a guide. Would you like to read it? Yes. An ocean kingdom governed by strict rules. Hydropolis is a maritime kingdom compromising, comprising of several small islands known collectively as the Hydropelago. The puns. The puns. The population is mostly made up of humans and merfolk, and fishing dominates the economy. With its fresh seafood dishes and highly regarded brain skimmer, the nation's kingmaker lives beneath the sea and is rarely seen. Queen Nira, ruler of Hydropolis, Hyd Hydropolis has decreed a number of activities to be strictly forbidden. Furthermore, tourists and merchants from overseas are forced to pay punitive taxes, meaning that although the kingdom is beautiful and fascinating place, it seldom receives any visitors. Many locals object to these draconian rules, and though of local officials do seem their best to suppress this dissatisfaction, it has yet to be fully quelled. A battle for supremacy. Humans and Morfork now coexist peacefully in Hydropolis, but it was not always the case. Land and sea battles between the two races once raged for a period of several decades. The fighting did not come to an end until the human was able to over overcome Brian Skimmer's brutal trial, a former king's bond with him. All right. Random yeah. Kigo. Uh, library could use the work from covering every conceivable topic. The very latest technology. Please know that anything is fine. Hmm. It's a little late now. Oh well. Reading does make you tired. Gold Paul, a guide. Yes. The kingdom where all is left is all is left to luck. Gopal is a large kingdom situated in the southern part of the Summerlands. The local population is dominated by dog food. Dog food. In Gopal, everything is left to chance. Even the tax rate is determined by the rule of the die. Longfang, the local kingmaker, is held in high esteem on account of his reputation of being a bringer of good fortune. 
Gambling is part of day-to-day -day life in Gopal, and a state-operated casino is also very popular with visitors to the kingdom. Fortune-telling is also highly prized, and the local people tend to consult the stars in times of confusion or distress. As a result, the leader of Gopal, otherwise known as the Grand High Roller, has tended to have quite a talent for clairvoyance. Master Pug is the current High Roller. A beacon of regional peace is the port of Caspian upon Hull is considered part of Gopal for administrative purposes. Gopal once sought to gain control over the settlements on the Elder Downs, but their attempt was repelled by a series of bloody battles. These scars have long since healed, however, not least because many of the people from these provinces have since moved to Gopal in search of fortune. All right. I think that's about as much as I need to know for now. I can't believe the stuff was in here. But the coup over in Ding Dong Dill, hmm, this place is more up to date than it looks. I better catch up with the others and figure out what to do next.